can relate. You use like the same color. Oh my god. Sorry if I'm like sound low energy. Um, I'm in the Airbnb right now and I have a roommate so I'm trying not to be like crazy loud. So, yes. Oh, I just shattered my castor oil. I mean, could have been worse. I'm using the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Creme. There's actually no point of zooming in on this because they've discontinued it. Not even a full pump. That's how much I use. And that's, I think, where people go wrong with using full coverage foundation. With thicker foundations, um, I don't apply it with a beauty blender. I usually just use a stipple brush because I just think it dispenses it better. As we can see, I have issues with scarring, so lightweight foundation isn't a thing for me, and I can't go darker because these scars are so much darker. Normally, I do eyebrows later on, but I'm gonna go ahead and start my brows now. So for pencils, I feel like pencils are anything. Just get whatever works. Um, if you're bougie, get Anastasia or Benefit, but cheap ones work too. Before, I was using this NYX pencil. It's kind of can twist up, but it lasted me, I think, a month, no more than two months, which was ridiculous. I just bought this cheap little pencil, and I actually highly recommend you sharpening it every time. I don't know where my sharpener is. So I'm just going to quickly draw. So Dip Brow by Anastasia. I'm just using this angled brush from Essence. So I usually brush upward and then outward. So that's the eyebrows for now. And then I'm going to go under them with LA Girl. You can use any concealer. I have this little sample from Too Faced, but my all-time favorite is the Urban Decay one and just original. I'm gonna just put on my eye. My favorite palette at the moment is by Morphe. It is the 350. My best piece of advice for eyeshadow is brushes are key and they don't have to be expensive. You just have to make sure that they're versatile. You definitely need a blending brush, just like a regular flat, typical eyeshadow brush. Maybe a smaller blending brush. These are the type of brushes I use. And then this, um, I use this for under my eye. I want a pretty soft, easy going look. As you can see, like everybody else, we have these big palettes and only use, what, three colors? So I've panned these three colors. Hopefully they sell like replaceable, like ones. Just take your blending brush, not even just for blending, but it dispenses everything perfectly. If you're doing it with a brush like this, it only, like it'll leave streaks. Oh, I think I used a little too much of this, but whatever. Be a burnt orange glow. Now I'm gonna go in with these two colors. And then this just goes on the base. I don't have a mirror, one second. Hmm. And then I take the other side of the same one and highlight my brow. And then if you're gonna do shimmer, the best thing, I'll just do a little bit, but it's easy to just use your finger. Yeah, actually I don't think I like shimmer. Calm it down. So this, now I'm going to use this color, maybe a combination of both. I just do one dip each. Wow, I look sick. <laughs> Not good sick, like sick sick. It's just like a shimmery brown color from Essence. Ooh, okay. I feel like this is where I come the most alive. We're going to fix these bags. So we're going to use the infamous shape. I'm in just deep but um, I actually don't really like this like I said I have really dark scars now I've have a gro like I've grown a liking to it but before I hated it I also <laughs> had a hard time finding my shade but we all know how Tarte feels about women of color this wasn't really this was the closest shade it's actually not that bad now especially since I've tanned this is my current favorite concealer it is Naked Skin by Urban Decay for my chin I'm gonna use Clearly it has this problem area. Actually, whatever, I'm just gonna do it with this. I think I'm gonna do shape tape under my eyes. Normally I'd never do two, but like just so you guys can see the difference. Um, normally I use a concealer by MAC, but it's in my suitcase, so I'm not gonna get it. But um, I'll just take this darker color and with a brush like this, I'm just gonna snatch my nose. I normally don't do this, but since I'm filming, I may as well show people, but what we could do is, with a brush like this, this is from e.l.f. So 
So this is the stage when we become a porcelain doll. Taking my beauty blender. Sorry, whenever I go near my eyes, I make weird faces. But who doesn't? For the darker contour, I'm just gonna use the bottom of the beauty blender so I'm not blending in a whole bunch of different kinds of shades to my face. I'm just gonna go back in with the concealer and cover in spots. I'm using the infamous Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. A lot of people love this. Like this is definitely one of the holy grails. I liked it up until I got um, shape tape because I just felt like shape tape absorbed too much of it and it gave me that, like the whole back flash. We're not trying to look like James Charles out here. I don't leave it on for too long ever since I started wearing shape tape. And then I just use this cheap little brush to dust it off. But I don't try to dust it completely off my face because it is to set your makeup. So I just kind of move it around and place it into my face. So as I mentioned, how many times do we buy palettes and only use what? Like a third of the colors. One of the biggest things I noticed that with is contouring kits. Like how many times do you see like a Kat Von D palette and only like th two shades, three max are used and the other aren't even touched. Instead of buying a whole palette and only using two colors, I think it's a good idea to just buy the replaceables because a lot of companies are doing that now where you can just replace the color you've panned. So this is from NYX, NYX. I, I call it NYX. I don't ever say NYX. I'm just going with a little bl uh, blush brush from e.l.f. This blush, I'll just use this because it's here, but I actually don't mind Kylie's blushes. Um, I use them just because I bought them for a review, so I'm kind of stuck with them too. Just give me a little rosy color. Yeah, I'm a bit of a blush maniac though. Like, ugh, once I start, I don't stop, so I kind of want to grab the Kylie brush and put it on, but nope, that's good. So I'm going in with the Morphe M510 highlighting brush. I've had this forever, like well over a year. Champagne Pop by Becca Cosmetics. This is the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator, which is really nice. You basically just go over, or even you can put it under your I have been doing a winged eyeliner since I was born. It's just how my eyes are shaped. It's super easy for me to do. It's actually, it's so weird not doing it. Like I don't understand how someone could just do eyeliner and not flick it up. It's bizarre to me. And people always ask me how I do it and I feel like I'm gonna mess it up on camera, of course. But I'm going in. Wow, I didn't realize how many e.l.f. products I own, but this is just an e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. I had a sample of the Kat Von D one, which was pretty cool. But honestly, you don't even notice that much of a difference. Like, And the thing with eyeliners is they shouldn't, they usually dry out pretty fast. So stuff with eye, like eyeliners and mascara, you have to repurchase them every so often. So it's not that good of an investment. But hey, one of these days, treat yourself because they're fun to use. And if you can, why not? Like this could be higher, but I'm not focusing right now. Oh, this is my good eye. Oops, I did that too high. So you can't do this under pressure. And then I'm gonna follow down. But basically see how I follow down and then I'm just gonna fill that in. And I just softened out that line, so. That is how I properly do it. This one's a little too low. I'm just gonna redo it off camera. Sorry. Perfect, to go up higher and then I just fill it in. Right now I'm using Total Temptations by Maybelline. So now on to falsies. But I think I like one out one night and just ripped them off my face. I don't know if I have them. I use the Demi Wispies by Ardell. So if they ever fall out of shape, one thing that I recommend doing is just taking an eyelash curler, placing them in, reviving them back to life. Lash glue is going to be Duo. It's white, but it dries clear. But I honestly just drop them on my face and they work. Sorry, this is how I used to do it for the longest time, is just get some tweezers. Once you have it clamped, I recommend taking the lash, going, having it pretty much upside down as you're placing it. As for lip liners, my all-time favorite, and this is usually what I have on mixed with a billion things. I have a million of these, but this is the only one I could find. But it's called Soft Berry by Essence. I think it looks good on everybody.
and that's that that is how i do my pretty much everyday face i hope you enjoyed if you have any questions comment below if you have any comments comment below hopefully they're nice and uh, if you enjoyed this video like subscribe thank you so much and i'll talk to you later it feels great,